In the world of advertising, Out of Home is the granddaddy of them all, with its origins dating all the way back to the dawn of time, when flyposting was first used to drum up interest in products and services. Today, the medium looks very different, with imposing billboards complemented by dynamic digital displays that we see on the streets we walk, the transport systems we navigate, and our places of work. But the aim remains the same, to grab the attention of consumers. Its omnipresence means that in the UK, Out of Home reaches 98% of the population at least once a week, with around $1.6 billion spent in the market each year, and billions more globally. The power of Out of Home is not in dispute, but it is historically a sector that has proven difficult to measure, thought of as a passive advertising method when compared to online or television. But the march to digitization is disrupting every area of industry, and Talon Outdoor believes there is an opportunity to fundamentally change out of home, bringing the sector into the 21st century. Despite only being established in 2013, Talon Outdoor is now the UK's leading out of home agency, having built a reputation for working seamlessly between agencies, clients, and media partners. Talon handles out-of-home media for several of the UK's leading advertising brands, including Omnicom Media Group UK agencies, Havas Media Group, and others including AMS Media Group, JAA, Good Stuff, Ptarmigan Media, and Republic of Media, while the business has also recently opened a North American operation. Understanding the need to digitise, it appointed Josko Grilievich as its new Chief Transformation Officer in 2018, where he found a business bursting at the seams with talent, boasting expert knowledge of the out-of-home market. Talon Outdoor had a wealth of IP, but he says it was all locked up in people's heads. As one of the sector's leading lights, there was clearly an opportunity to digitalise not just the company, but the wider industry as well. The world is moving down a digitization route. Everything is going online. Um, so we had a great challenge of how do we take the world's oldest advertising medium, a legacy medium, an offline medium, into the new brave online world and make it uh, digital. Not just in the way that the screens are digitized, but the entire end-to-end -end journey of the business. The decision was made to press ahead with a company-wide technology transformation to code this highly valuable and specialist knowledge into digital platforms that would be of huge benefit to the company and its clients and partners. Today, Talon boasts a trio of proprietary tech platforms that allow internal and external users to engage seamlessly with out of home and simplify what can often be a fragmented and complex environment. One of the jewels in the crown is Ada, an out of home data management platform which collates billions of data points to create meaningful insights on customer behavior, campaign management, and audience targeting. Grilievich calls it the best out-of-home data management platform in the UK, if not in the world. Talon's product strategy director, Georgie Rumble, tells Digital Bulletin that Ada has and will continue to be an integral part of its strategy. ADA has been um, running for around three years now. What we wanted to do was have and build a platform that would enable advertisers um, to look at outcome-based measurement, to um, create opportunities for omni-channel planning in out of home, and to build behavioural audiences. We have built um, the platform with the ability to report on footfall data, which has been a real kind of interesting element for our clients to understand people who are seeing an out-of-home campaign and therefore taking an action and visiting a, a certain location. They've been able to understand not just their own footfall, but also a competitor's footfall. We've seen great results um, by using the platform in that way. McDonald's was one of the launch partners for the platform and has utilised Ada consistently over the last three years, generating a quantifiable return on investment, while Google has also been a regular user. It is an impressive roster of clients. 
When it comes to more kind of varied key performance indicators, we've also um, run a, a project which looked at campaigns that have used ADA to optimise their schedules versus general distribution out of home campaigns. And what we've seen, by using ADA, we can increase consideration by 53% versus normal out of home campaigns. Alongside its multinational clients, Rumble says the platform is helping smaller businesses reach their desired audiences. A brand came to us and they, they had quite an obvious uh, behavioural audience that they wanted to reach. It was over Valentine's Day, day weekend, that they would be um, running their, their campaign and they wanted to target people that would go into jewellery stores. So what they did is, is they ran 50% of their out of home in proximity to the jewellery store that they, were, they wanted to drive footfall into. And then 50% was optimised through the ADA platform. We saw a huge increase in footfall to store in comparison to their competitor. So again, it's using ADA to reach more of the right people will drive those metrics, those hard metrics that we also talk about. A central theme of Talon's ambitions is to improve both itself and the industry, to utilise technology to automate, simplify and optimise outcomes, removing many of the historic overheads from day-to-day -day advertising operations. It is that philosophy that led to the creation of Plato, an automated trading platform which aggregates all out-of-home inventory into a single intuitive campaign, planning and delivery system. It allows users to explore, plan, check availability, reserve and trade paper and digital inventory across multiple markets. But as with any digital transformation, the technology is only as good as the people using it. Tech is a fantastic catalyst for doing that, but it has to work in harmony and symbiosis with the culture. If the culture is not ready to adapt and change, it doesn't matter what you do on the tech front, it's not going to be successful. The ambition for the Plato platform was tough, admits Amy Horton, Chief Product Officer, with the goal being to drive 100% of its UK bookings through the platform. When we started the year last year, we were only putting in probably, it was less than 5%, and we hit uh, pushing 100% of UK bookings through plat uh, Plato, our main um, platform. I think we did it by first time by July. It was also about having everybody on board, making sure that everybody feels empowered to be part of the process. And, and to be honest, I think if we didn't have a good uh, people culture, it would have been quite difficult because people um, want the platform to work. Horton says the two platforms have made a demonstrable difference to the level of service it is able to offer its partners and clients. Speed and efficiency are absolutely integral to uh, everything that we do for our clients. Increasingly, um, we need to be able to turn around proposals for clients uh, more and more quickly. Um, <clears throat> and in order to be able to do that, we need to have information at our fingertips. And through our tech development, we're able to access uh, live availability and to be able to option and book literally at a touch of a button. Previously, those processes would have taken literally days. Now we can literally do that at a click of a button and one of the senior people here always uses the example of if I wanted to find 48 sheets in Sheffield in June, it would take me three days to do that and now we literally can do that in 30 seconds. Off the back of the success of Ada and Plato, Talon most recently launched Atlas, a transparent and completely automated audience-led planning and buying platform that allows advertisers and agencies to activate campaigns intelligently, all from within a single browser. It has been built to remove traditional complexities in the advertising space by connecting advertisers and agencies directly to media owners and to be fully transparent and accountable so that clients only pay for confirmed impressions. The build of the three platforms represents a colossal undertaking, requiring no shortage of data science and engineering skill. But Grilevich says that those skills were simply not available to the business when he joined the company in 2018. There was nobody in the organisation that understood technology, how to execute technology and how to build products. A decision was made to look for external partners to fast track the digital transformation agenda. And after an extensive search, 
Talon partnered with Sahaj Software Solutions. It has proven to be fruitful collaboration for both parties, to say the least. So the reason we went to Sahaj was be we believed they had the hardcore engineering skills. We trusted them to do what we needed them to do. They were a fantastic outfit, great individuals, great backgrounds, who provided those skills both from a data perspective, engineering perspective, data science perspective, and they literally understood our business and they were keen to work with us in a partnership. And that partnership has built over the last three years to such an extent where we don't treat them as an external company. They're a part of our business. Grilevich calls out the build of all three platforms as being highlights of working with Sahaj, with much of the work carried out to the tightest of deadlines. Building an MVP version of our planning product called Plato in four months, under immense pressure, under insane uh, circumstances. We built a data management platform in a year. We basically had to wrestle it back from somebody else, fix everything, rip out all the engineering that didn't work, all the expensive bits got ripped out. We introduced a heck of a lot of efficiency. On top of that, by taking Plato and Ada, we managed to build that programmatic trading platform called Atlas in six months, which is unheard of. It's brilliant. It's, it's a fantastic product. Um, we did it with their help. And the reason we were able to do it so quickly is because they understood what the challenge was and they understood what our core capabilities were. Such is the symbiotic nature of the relationship Sahaj has previously approached Talon with ideas that it believes could help the business. Unable to commit time and resources to something at the concept stage, Grilievich reluctantly declined. The other thing which was really surprising to me is they come back with ideas and say, hey, what about if we did this? And I say, yeah, but I don't have the time or the money to be able to do it. Fine, we'll do it as a, as a science project with our grads. We'll knock up the first iterations of it. We'll spend our own money of it. And if you think it flies after that, let's pick it up. And we've done that with one of our key products, which is an inventory management um, uh, platform, where they essentially spent a couple of months building it at their own cost, showed it to us and said, this has legs. We then invested in it, carried on, and that's, it's going to be a, a full-fledged product used globally in the next couple of months. A global pandemic has added another layer of complexity, with Grilievich labelling much of the work done over the period as a transformation within a transformation. It is an experience that will surely hold Talon in good stead as it embarks on the next stage of its transformation journey. While we were very ambitious in our original transformation story, we had to do a transformation within a transformation when 2020 came around. So the things that would normally take us 12, 18 months to build, we built in six months. We launched an entire brand new platform, our programmatic trading platform, in six months. We went from concept to actually being a physical, tangible asset in six months, and we put revenue through it a month later. That is unheard of. And that's a testament to the people that we have, the technology that we've built, and our ability to think strategically and come up with great innovative ideas that were forced on us by our surrounding. And, and the reality is that over the next two to five years, change is going to be the constant. Right? And unless we can adopt, adapt to change, and unless we can adapt to new circumstances, we're going to struggle. And I think we've proven over the last 12 or 18 months that that's in now in our DNA. We've been very successful with it. We've demonstrated it, we've built great tools, great platforms, and our culture has shifted significantly over the last 18 months.